Hey, hey everyone. Uh, my name is Jeff. I work, uh, I'm a mobile engineer at uh, Uber, working on the uh, Uber driver app uh, for Uber Rush and the Uber Eats uh, in our New York office. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about like, uh, interaction, uh, integration testing at Uber. Okay. Ready? Okay. So um, at Uber, we have uh, three types of uh, Android testing. Uh, first one is unit tests. I, I guess everyone is familiar with it. Um, so basically, every dev, when they commit code, they have to be, uh, you know, a company with a unit tests. Uh, if it's pure Java class, we do uh, JUnit. If it's otherwise, we do a robo test. Um, for the UI testing, we use, uh, you know, Expresso tests. Um, basically, it's for the like view of view groups. Uh, if you have any interaction with uh, those uh, views. Um, this, uh, the next one is end-to-end uh, uh, -end testing, which is um, uh, integration testing at Uber. That's a very interesting problem. Um, that's what I'm going to talk about, uh, especially um, Octopus. This is a very interesting internal tool developed by our engineers um, last year. Um, okay. So why uh, do interaction testing matters? Um, at Uber, we actually have a, a build, we call it build train. So it's a build, mobile build cut every week, every Wednesday, uh, 12 Pacific time. So you can imagine every week we have tons of new features getting to uh, either driver app, rider app, or an, our new app, Eats app. Um, program teams had to do like uh, sanity tests once a week, uh, right after uh, we have a you know, build cut. Um, by the way, at Uber we have uh, two different groups. One is platform team, one is program teams. Uh, for Uber Eats, Uber Rush, for example, uh, it's part of the program teams, more focused on the product. Um, there's also other program teams like uh, driver experience, driver engagement, rider experience, payment teams. Um, so in total, uh, program teams has more than 2,000 uh, menu tests, and it's growing really fast. Um, so you can imagine, like, you know, engineer do some tests. Uh, it's easy to miss some basic flow, for example, signups, payments. Uh, for our Uber Rush team, at this moment, it's over 100 uh, test cases we have to cover every week to ensure the build quality. Um, okay. So, yeah, I do have a question to everyone. Like, you know, what do you think of, like, Uber, uh, especially, uh, you know, when it comes to automation testing? What kind of, what kind of interesting challenges? Fleet simulation. What? Fleet. Oh, okay. Cool. Any other? Scale. Scale. Okay, that's close. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so at Uber we actually have uh, different um, problems. One thing is like it's multiple apps, right? So we have uh, rider apps and um, driver apps. It's actually talking to each other. It's not really separate apps. So it's just like messaging app. Also, it's cross app interaction, which means um, you know the driver make a request. Uh, it's basically dispatch a uh, re you know. Right request and driver has to, uh, you know, accept that request and do a pickup drop off, and also for uh, Uber Rush, especially this is like you know enterprise solution. So it's actually uh, when you think about Uber Rush, uh, it's all about driver, and uh, on the other end, it's not rider. It's actually merchant or restaurant. Um, so basically, it's an app talking to, um, you know, merchant dashboard or restaurant dashboard. Those are pretty interesting challenge for us. One quick example is for Uber Rush rating. So we do have like two different products, right? Rush and Eats. Rush, uh, okay, so Rush is driver app. So it's actually demand from uh, different sources like you know, API, mobile app, uh, P2P Rush, which is only available in New York. So you are able to request Rush from your rider app. The other thing is like you know, uh, Marketplace Eats, which is like um, you request uh, delivery from your Eats app. So in different scenarios, uh, sometimes driver has to rate trips, sometimes they don't. Uh, that those are, you know, you have to cover those cases when you do a sanity test. That's pretty. Um, okay, so it comes to um, Octopus. This is a tool uh, internally allows us to test both uh, rider and driver apps, uh, really like E to E flow. In other, in other words, it's, uh, we can automate the entire uh, trip flow in real life situation. 
right? So using a rider app and a driver app um, at the same time. Uh, for Uber Rush, uh, as I mentioned, it's um, uh, you know app talk to a merchant dashboard. So in this case, we can uh, simulate like a uh, driver app with uh, our uh, delivery API. Uh, by the way, delivery API is publicly available, so you can do something. Um, before I dive deep into um, uh, detail, like how the octopus works, I want to give some uh, demos first, see how it works. Uh, the first one is uh, Uber Rush. Let's see. I, I make a recall, so I cheat a little bit. So, so this is. This is a simulator. This is a, like you know the making a request, and this is our driver app. This is a, a merchant dashboard. So you actually see the change, right? Uh, requesting. Um, okay. Signing my test account and getting to yeah test. That's that's my uh, test city in Iron, Kentucky. Um, and that actually, the driver is getting dispatch, uh, accept, and you see uh, I'm on trip. Um, accept the trip uh, on yeah on trip to deliver and end trip. And at the end, you will see uh, the, you know, it will generate reports here uh, if it's task, uh, successful or failed. Uh, cool. So this is a one flow for Uber Rush. Uh, the other one is I really want to show is not from my team, it's like from a Uber Pro team. Um, that's another demo I want to show you guys. So this is, a, this is using a iOS uh, simulator, but it's the same thing. But it gives you a very good uh, illustration how this, that works. Um, so you have a driver and a rider one, rider two. Um, so the rider one is actually setting up a pickup location and destination. Uh, and rider two, and make a request. Driver is got driver is picking up this rider, and Uber too. You know there is another uh, passenger, so he um, pick up lo uh, pick up location and uh, enter a destination location. That's second dispatch. So this driver picks up another rider, and uh, driver start the trip. Start another trip. Drop off, yeah. Now this is a drop off, the first rider. Uh, drop off in the, uh, the second rider, the second passenger, and at the end, the, the driver has to rate the uh, rider. Cool. Okay. Yeah, let's look at uh, a little bit uh, more deep, uh, you know, what's going on behind the scene. So on Android, we, uh, we write like test case as you can imagine, like, you know, using Java uh, uh, for Octopus. Um, uh, uh, we take advantage of like a UI automator. And the inside uh, test, that's what we use our Octopus framework. Um, we also uh, want to, I also want to really mention about signal concept. It's really important because they communicate using, uh, we, we use uh, Octopus framework actually communicate each other using different signals. Um, and also we have a test config file. In this case, you see I set up my location to uh, uh, different cities. And also, um, since we have lots of features, each feature guarded by a feature flag. So we are able to turn on or turn off feature flag to do any tests. 
Um, terminology here is um, a test host. Uh, basically, uh, that's a laptop or uh, you know CI or you know uh, MacBook, uh, Mac Mini. Uh, test target is basically the device simulators you are using. Channels is between the different test uh, test target. Uh, signal, since I bought it, because it's really important, it's the communication channel between how we pass um, around signals. So on Android, um, the works is actually, uh, the signaling is um, a file-based signaling. Uh, in order to pass different signals, it's actually different from iOS. We use a ADB um, a shell to pass all the uh, signal between a, a different uh, test target. Um, so there's two different uh, thing, uh, two different communication. One is write signal. The other one is read signal. Um, so for write signal, we basically, uh, for example, in this case, we want to write a driver online into the writer app. So writer knows like this driver is online. I'm able to dispatch, send a dispatch uh, to that driver. Um, in this case, we write this to the temper files, then pass to a test host, which is can be your laptop. And you know uh, the octopus framework is going to uh, cast and uh, cat and also copy this file to the writer app. Then this is basically what uh, API does uh, for you, like a write signal. Um, for the read signal, we're using uh, you know file observer. So if there is any state change in the writer uh, you know file in the writer app. Uh, so the writer knows, right? So, so either the driver is arriving or driver is accepting your uh, write request. Uh, yeah, this, so this is uh, two APIs we're using in, uh, for uh, sending uh, different signals or reading signals. Reading, uh, read signal is uh, blocking uh, and write signal is non-blocking in this case. Uh, this gives you overview from the test perspective uh, you only see different, like two driver and the rider, different test target. And the sig signal is b between like driver online or request trips. Um, so for the, uh, for uh, Octopus test, uh, first thing is run, uh, we run the test on the CI. Um, so you are able to um, run tests, for example, uh, nightly build or every mass build so you can, you know, uh, automatically trigger the an octopus test uh, in order to make tests a little bit more stable, right? So because it's really, um, you know, you have to have a good signal to make all the requests and receive, uh, receive read all the requests. So we have also have a provide uh, record and replay mode. So record basically record the network. Uh, the first time you run record network response, the replay mode is basically retrieve those uh, network response from the cache. Um, the other thing is like you know you know you, we can run um, tests locally um, using like Python command line. Um, yeah, pretty much. That's my talk. Any any questions? Yeah. Uh, is there any plans to open source? Oh, that's a really good question. Uh, so once we made the framework, is really. Uh, Robust, definitely we're looking for open source this test framework. Because I think it's very useful. And uh, from my perspective, I think um, integration tests, definitely, this is definitely uh, not replacing uh, you know, unit tests. It's just a safe net, making sure the call flow works. Because Uber, you, you, you can, um, I think if driver cannot start a trip or end trip, that's really bad. Yeah. Uh, when testing the pooling, Oh, that, that's that's why we introduced Octopus to make sure the signaling. Like, how long did that take to figure out? Um, was that like, I'm sure. Was, what, was that like super hard to figure out, like how to sync, like make sure that these requests were properly? Uh, it's okay. I think it's just like a Java program. It's just make sure you have it right orders to make a request. Um, yeah. Any any other questions? Oh. Sorry, what's that question? How do you use the faders? Like when you do a test, is that one side expecting a signal and not getting it in a faders? Yeah, so so uh, if you look at the, all the touch stuff, is actually uh, page architecture. It's kind of like you know UI object. You retrieve that 
uh, found by view, whatever the object. If there is some failures, for example, the view is not there, it will just fail the fail the test, and you see it from the terminal. It will it will actually stop the uh, stop the trip. Like, um, yeah, actually, we will report from. Uh, for example, the, those tests running on the CI, so we are able to catch that before the release. Yeah. I'm curious um, to like test the, uh -huh. the car movement you know, on the screen. Okay. Uh, okay. Can you, can you guys like simulate? Yeah. So. Uh, in this test case, I, I think it's not really simulated the route. Yeah. It's basically just like you know simulate the pick up, drop off, uh, accept dispatch. But I think um, we are working on that. Um, definitely working on that. Uh, I always, uh, I think we can simulate the trips. Yeah. yeah. How long does it take to integrate with your current app? Like, you mentioned that every Wednesday you have this uh -huh. uh, cognitive run. Like, how uh -huh. does the integration pass to Android? Like, how does it work? Uh -huh. Oh, uh, yeah, because those uh, output tests right now is uh, running on the uh, Jenkins, like CI. So it's not really related to. Um, uh, it's actually independent from each build, build train. So every time you uh, def, like, uh, commit a code, uh, or depends on the test configuration, it may run the uh, octopus test. Uh, if the test fails, you, you will know immediately. Uh, I mean, well, mm -hmm. the integration Uh, no, it's independent. It can be before or after. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Last slide. Oh. This one. So, so you can check out our uh, Inch uh, blog. It actually has a very great uh, write-up for octopus testing. Uh, also, we are hiring. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thanks. <laughs>